At a young age, Dominic Bogue became aware of an incredible gift after losing his father. I wouldn't say I planned to become a medium. I believe the Spirit just put me on that journey. L losing my father certainly has um, made me the medium I am today. Now, he's travelling all over the UK and America, pushing the boundaries with his private readings, helping to reunite families and helping to heal hearts, leaving clients speechless with a clear message that our loved ones are still with us. Hugh. Yeah, that's his name. Hugh. Yeah. Right, OK. He's telling me he wants to mention Graham yes, to uh, you. Yes, that's my son. Do, was your dad fond of the football? He was a footballer. Right, so do you still have cuttings and scraps yes. of your dad? Because he's sure. fucking through yep. all these things, you mm -hmm. see. Absolutely fantastic. It was um, amazing. Within a, a private reading, it's a one-to-one -one basis. It allows me to be so much more personal with an individual. It allows me really to allow their loved ones to come as close as ever, to shine through me, allows me to leave no stone unturned. I feel like their mum had sepsis or septicemia, there was poison in her blood. exactly right. Do you understand? Oh it was the blood. She says, but the doctors missed it. Exactly. And that's what bugged you. Mm -hmm. Do you have any connection to Kelly Street at all? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Because she's just shown me Kelly Street uh -huh. there, okay? Your dad, as he's coming forward, I just feel it's important to know that he looks after her. Uh -huh. He looks after her. It was a man of few words sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> but when he did speak, it was worth knowing. Yes. Just before I finish up with you, did your father ha ever have any connections to working for the council? Yes. Uh huh. Because he's telling me to say that he took pride for working with the council. I always reflect on my grieving. I've been there. I've, I've lost someone who was so close to me. I know what it's like to lose. And I know what it's like to desperately want to hear from that someone special. Who's James? My wee boy. Who else is James though? His brother. Okay, because I'm very much aware of needing to say the two connections to James. Because he talks to me about the surgery being a waste of blooming time. It was. Do you understand? <laughs> very he much. says it was a waste of time. Why do I feel that your brother wasn't in communication or was got was My absent? My other brother went this. Right, okay. Because when I connect with him, he makes me feel that he was gone. Gone, and I get this whole sense of either the police being involved or something to do with, we don't know where he is. And this has became quite alarming. Your brother's quite funny, all right, because he's just <laughs> asked me, who's the favorite one now? <laughs> it was very true, very true to form, actually. He knew stuff that nobody could have known. It was just fantastic. It felt like they were right there with us. Even the way he says stuff, it's like that's the way my boy would have says it. You know, just the way. It's amazing. He's so good, so genuine, and he picks up on a lot of stuff that no one else has. One thing I can promise is my very best, and it's my very best that allows me to keep pushing boundaries and bringing forward the voice of spirit. See Dominic Bogue in your local area.